Only thing I remember is uh, my spirit coming out of my body when I was in the ambulance. What, what was heaven like? How, how did you get there and what did it look like? It was a male angel. He was very tall and very transparent. Because you mentioned you met Jesus. Um, did that tie in with a death experience? A hey. brand new DVD uh, of Last Evangelist. You can get it right now. Uh, it's limited collector's edition. It's got the new episode on it, along with band videos with me and Michael Lake and Lisa Havens, uh, Sh Sheila Lazinski. Also, if you want to see Last Evangelist, the uh, episode, ex exclusively episode one on davidhebner.tv. So you were abused as a child. Your mother beat you in the head with the baseball bat and your brother. You're in the back of an ambulance. There's an angel there. She's over you, um, taking care of you. And then you went to the hospital and your mother's praying over you because you were in a coma, right? My grandmother. Yeah, my grandmother. Gran grandmother, yeah. So what happened in the hospital? Did you go and meet the Lord when you were, what was it, four years old? That I don't remember. The only thing I remember is uh, my spirit coming out of my body when I was in the ambulance and my spirit floated to the top of the ambulance. And I do remember the uh, angel. It was a male angel and he was very tall and very transparent, very beautiful. And um, I evidently went back into my body, you know, because my grandmother was the type of person where she would go into prayer like right away. And um, I went into a coma after, you know, the operation. And then the next, you know, I woke up, my grandmother was next to my bed. And she had told me that um, I had almost died several times. Okay. And so you're four years old. You remember leaving your body. You remember that, right? Yes, I do. Wow. Was there any pain with that when you, or when you were hovered over your body, was there peace? Yes, uh, that, mm -hmm, there was peace. Okay. Uh, there was no pain. And it's not the first time that this has happened to me, you know, because we as believers, we are spirit first. We, you know, we right. have patients from, from the Lord. So, you know, this is just flesh right here. This is just a shell. Yeah just the house that we live in yeah but the real us is the spirit man that dwells on the inside of us that's the real person the real us that god has created so I, no, there there was pain whatsoever um if any there's uh there's bliss there's there's peace there's joy there's love you know yeah and so you said you have other experiences because you mentioned you met jesus um did that tie in with a death experience or was that isolated? Um, that wasn't really like a death experience, even though, you know, spiritually I felt like I was dying. Okay. Because of what I was going through divorce at the time, but yeah. I clearly saw the Lord walk into my room and I was awake when I saw it. Um, okay. So that was another experience. And he, I saw what he looked like. I saw he was tall, about six foot. Very broad shoulders. He had um, a, like the train of of his robe was really long, and it was white and again transparent. And I saw him. I was waking up, and I literally saw him like walking around my bed. And he walked around to the side of where I was laying, and he sat on the bed with me. I was really going through a lot at that time, and at that time, I kind of wanted him to just take me home because I was. Mm -hmm exhausted just from childhood and from adulthood and going through a divorce, you know? So I was at the place where I just wanted to go home to be with him. And he sat down on my bed and we had a conversation, but I do not remember what we talked about. The only thing I remember is that I asked him, Lord, please don't leave me. And I remember he stayed with me all night long until the next morning when I woke up because my window was like right in front of my bed. And when I was waking up, and I was looking out the window. I was literally just feeling his presence leaving out of the window. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So, Leora, um, you mm -hmm. mentioned that you've been to heaven. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, tell me, before I ask you what heaven looks like, how did you make that transition into heaven? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I've had a lot of experiences like that. And I think that a lot of people do, especially those who have, well, anybody can go to heaven that believes in the Lord, that belongs to him. Okay. okay. Um, 
you know, that heavy anointing, that that calling that was on my life. I was having a lot of experiences with the Lord uh, from childhood. From the time that I got hit in my head, you know, I started really hearing like God speaking to me. And I believe that that's another reason why I'm on the road that I'm on today. What, what was heaven like? How, how did you get there and what did it look like? Okay, so basically I fell asleep that night, um, you know, worshiping and praying. And the Lord came and took me, you know, out of my body and I ended up in heaven. And I remember, um, I remember, I mean, I can see it like it's, it was yesterday. I remember we were, me and the Lord, I saw him and it was this beautiful green grass, like the grass was alive, okay? The flowers were alive. And I don't know how else to explain this, okay? I'm kind of doing it the best that I can in this mortal in this body here okay but the grass was alive the flowers were different colors colors that we don't see here but it's almost as if the flowers were breathing and i could see in the front of me there was like a beautiful huge mountain and out of the mountain was um, a waterfall beautiful waterfall and then we were kind of like up on a really high hill so when you look down you could see like a, a huge lake or river and I remember I could see people on boats, but the boats were, they didn't have like propellers. It was as if the boats were being guided by the light of God. And like wherever people wanted them to go, that's where the boats would go. And I would see families in boats, okay? It was so beautiful. And the light mm -hmm. was, um, I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like the light here. It is a glorious, transparent light that mm -hmm. is, life itself it's like the light is life okay mm -hmm. i remember i was running with yeshua and we were running on this hill and we were running through the grass and we were running through uh, like on the uh, the flowers and we were holding hands and we were just kind of laughing as i was watching this waterfall and i was looking at the mountain and all around me was just like the whole atmosphere was filled with the presence of god okay literally yeah. the atmosphere mm -hmm. was charged and I remember that when I stepped on the flowers, the flowers would bounce back up. It amazed me because I would think, you know, that the flowers would like die, but everything just bounced right back up. Mm -hmm. The most yeah. important thing was being with the Lord. You know, I was yeah. with him and we were laughing and we were just having so much fun. And it was like, I was this little girl, you know, with him in heaven. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Laura, I want to bring on uh, 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 Mike Spaulding just for a moment here. Um, Pastor Spaulding, you there? Yep. Can you can you hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a question question for you. Um, we talked about out of body experience. Um, uh, Jesse, my uh, was talking about it. Leora talked about it. I've interviewed so many people that's talked about it. Is why do you think we're allowed to have these experiences pulling out of the body? Um, uh, in other words why are why are we allowed to have that well i would say first of all to honor and glorify god so everything that he he permits and even um is involved in actively is all for his glory and honor first of all secondly mm -hmm. it would be for the edification equipping and encouragement of those who experience it and also not not just the individual who experiences it but for any witnesses and those who will hear and receive the testimony of the one who experiences it and, mm -hmm. and i think that's why a lot of these out-of-body experiences happen in hospitals mm -hmm. because there are staff they're hooked to machines and there's no explanation for what happens other than god showed up Mm -hmm. So so it's a testimony to all of those folks, but it also falls in line prophetically, David. Uh, I think there's an increase in this type of activity today because we are nearing the return mm -hmm. of Yeshua. And mm -hmm. the, the, the Hebrew scriptures talk about this repeatedly, um, that there'll be an outpouring of mm -hmm. supernatural activity. Um, yeah. I think of the book of Joel, especially, where the Lord talks about pouring out his spirit upon his mm -hmm. people uh, as the day approaches so for all Absolutely. those reasons david yeah 
Uh, absolutely. There's accounts in the Bible in Scripture where I was caught up in the Spirit, right? Um, who was a, a come to Paul was caught up in the Spirit, right? Paul, Ezekiel, yeah. uh, the Apostle John, yeah. uh, Daniel, yeah. uh, many, caught, many. Caught up in the Spirit. This is... Yeah. This is caught up in the spirit. You know, we could, they could hover over the body. They could see it. Uh, and then I'm going to take some hand raising here. But my last thing is uh, heaven. Okay. Now, Leora talks about heaven. And I'll tell you why I love to hear her talk about heaven. Because she doesn't tell me that she doesn't have an agenda with it. Here's the problem I'm having with people that say they went and met God and they went to heaven. They come back with Jesus told me to tell you this. <laughs> and it doesn't have anything to do with the Bible. It's like, you know, it's like, but Leora, I love the way she talks about heaven. I love the way she talks about God. And she just shares her experience. And it's such a joyful experience. But do you agree with me when these people come back and they say, I met God and he told me to tell you this. And it's a little bit out there. Well, does it resonate? Are you asking me or Leora? Yeah, I know. I'm asking you, uh, Dr. Mike. Okay. So does it resonate with, with your spirit? Um, is it outside of, of the parameters of your own experience? Now, that would rattle you if someone came to you with a, with a word of knowledge uh, from the Lord, and, 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 and it completely uh, surpassed anything you've ever experienced. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't from the Lord. Maybe right. the Lord's trying to move you from where you're at into a new place of revelation. So yep. does, it, does it resonate with your spirit? And after praying about it and asking the Lord if this is from him, because I believe he'll answer that, David. Yeah. Or nay, and you'll know that. Absolutely. I think you're so right. Thank you, Pastor. I appreciate it. You're very welcome, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, Leora, you know what I'm talking about. I've had I've interviewed guests and they tell me that they met Jesus and Jesus came back and t told me I had to shave my head bald and run around in a diaper. In these last days, people will worship false gods. As the Antichrist arises, Christians will be persecuted. David Hevner Investigates is proud to bring you End Times Investigations. A new DVD series containing over eight hours of interviews, commentaries, and teaching on Illuminati and the New World Order, Satanism, miracles, and healings, the Antichrist, and one world religion. Hi, I'm David Hevener, and I'm proud to bring you this brand new DVD collection, End Times Investigations. David reveals how the media is working hand in hand with the Antichrist system. Order now and receive this special DVD collection. Text bonus to 41444 or davidhevner.tv slash order. Call toll free 844-806-0006. Text bonus to 41444 or davidhevner.tv slash order. Call toll free 844-806-0006. If, if you'd like to... Um get involved with the ministry and uh, be a supporter. Text the word chosen to 91999. We sure could use your help. And please don't forget my new books that are out, uh, True Power and uh, End Times Investigation. Uh, and it's the, you can get all this stuff uh, there at uh, davidhevener.tv forward slash order. Don't forget to sign up to davidhevener.tv.